Jeremy Lee live in Kaanapali where Jeremy you've been following this story what's the latest that's right. And last time I was here in Kanapali, there was a rally that parents and teachers banded together at to send a message to the Department of Education that they did not want to send students away from this area, away from West Maui, across the island. I spoke to the DOE or got a statement from a spokesperson after that saying, quote, that they were absolutely committed to providing education here in West Maui. A bit of mixed messages, though, because now a plan has been rolled out to bus school children from here to Kihei. Here to respond is uh, school School teacher Robert Livermore, who teaches at King Kamehameha the Third, that's the one that is damaged beyond repair from Front Street. And you met with Department of Education. Teachers were called together yesterday. What can you tell us about what happened? Well, it was our first day brought back together as a community, all four schools. Um, it was they apparently they wanted to hear our voice. Uh, but when we walked in, we were handed a folder and we were handed a little tote bag, as one teacher eloquently put it. Uh, we came here thinking you were here to listen to us. You handed us a folder telling us where you wanted to relocate, and you gave us a bag to put our ashes in and told us to get back to work. That's, and that was it. And that's how a lot of people felt yesterday. How, how do you mean? What is the tote bag? We, well, we were all given our folder, and we were given a nice little tote bag for our belongings or what's left of our belongings. I see. I see. It was kind of insulting to be given a bag. I don't understand why. So tell me a little bit. My understanding is that the, it, this was a bit of a heated meeting, that uh, teachers felt that they, that they weren't being heard? Basically, a lot of teachers feel that way. Um, you know, we get mixed messages. It's, uh, there's so much anxiety because we're told one day this, the next day we're told, no, you need to report here. Oh, now we want you to drive to either side. And we don't know what we're supposed to do. Um, a lot of teachers aren't ready. Just a week ago, they said, take as much time as you need to heal. And now it's like, okay, if you're not coming back, here's how you can use your sick days, your personal days, to cover the time you're not coming in for. And explain, you know, a lot of people might not understand. I've, I've been over it a couple of times, but uh, there, is a, a, there is a unanimous front here not to send kids away from West Mount. Well, like you were just saying a moment ago, we had a rally last Tuesday, and the next day the DOE puts out the message saying, we want to send your kids to Central and South Maui. We want to relocate and bus your kids. After the community stood up together and as one, we took a survey. Nine out of ten parents do not want to put their kids on a bus to the other side twice a day. Also, during our meeting yesterday morning, so many of the people that were there from Oahu, they're like, oh, it was such a, it's so devastating to drive through Lahaina. Oh, it's so hard. And we're like, are, are you, how do you not understand your own hypocrisy? You're telling us to do it twice a day, but it was hard for you to come through once. To send the kids there, too. Yes, and now they want to send our kids there twice a day. And, uh, now, is there, where does this stand? Because I, I will say, from my perspective, I've got mixed messages from Department of Education. You know, we have talked to the governor. The governor, uh, Senator Hirono, all said they're committed to having uh, school, school kids remain here in West Maui. Uh, the lieutenant governor was there. Was there any uh, stand that she took? Did she seem supportive? Uh, she didn't really say anything one way or the other. Um, it, she, like I said, worked the room. She was polite. She was listening to people, um, seemed to care. But once again... You know, we have our meeting tomorrow with the community, um, the DOE, and we'll see what happens. If they want to hear our voice, it seems like they've already made their decision before listening to anyone's voice. And that's what keeps happening. That's why um, the community, the parents, teachers, I'm a parent. You know, I have two kids. One is in high school. One is in elementary school. And if they want to farm us out to three different locations, I, I can't be away from my family like that. I can't, you can't divide me and split me up and expect me to be a, an, an efficient teacher or educator somewhere else when I'm worried about where my family is. Thank you so much for being with us. Robert Livermore of King Kamehameha Schools, or King Kamehameha the Third, rather, uh, that school which is damaged beyond repair. Uh, we are going to stay on this story. We're talking to teachers, we're talking to students, and uh, we are trying to get more from the Department of Education, who did tell us earlier that they are, quote, absolutely committed to providing education here in West Maui. We'll see if they follow up with those words. We're going to go to break, but for now, we're live in Kanapali, Jeremy Lee, KITV4. Island News.